even though we've had these mouth prints conserved, they still have some buckling and curling in the sheet of paper. So it doesn't lay completely flat and we wanted to mount it in such a way that the artwork would, would lay as flat as possible. It takes us about a day to frame one of these works from start to finish. Normally when we're uh, mounting works on paper we would use uh, Japanese rice paper hinge and then um, an adhesive like a wheat starch or um, methyl cellulose. Both of those are water-based and that creates a problem with these Andy Warhol prints because it's on a type of paper that the, the water doesn't work well with. The moisture in the paste will make the paper buckle. So we talked to um, several different people, tried to get some expert opinions on the best way to go ahead with this, and we finally um, came up with this solution of creating these strip hinges that run the full length of each sheet on all four sides, and then they're activated with heat so there's no moisture involved, and then they've got these tabs which will um, slip through a slit in the mat. The slit is um, pushed back about an eighth of an inch behind the artwork, so it's just barely hidden, but really close to the edge. And there's six tabs along each side, so you pull those through the slit in the mat board, and then you use the iron again to uh, adhere it to the back of the mat, and that kind of snugs the work down very evenly, keeps it as flat as possible. Um, it's completely archival, it's acid-free, it's reversible, so at any point in the future you can undo it if you decide you need to. 